It is hard to imagine students being singled out for unpaid lunch debt at schools. Well, the state lawmakers say it is happening in Wisconsin schools, and they're introducing a proposal to prevent it from happening in the future. Rose Schmidt explains their plan to prohibit what's known as lunch shaming. Rose? Yes, well, lunch shaming is a term that's been in the news around the country and in our state as meal trays have been taken away from children or students are given an alternative, often less nutritious meal if their meal accounts are in the, the red. Each school district has a student meal debt policy quite different from the next. We looked into some in our area. Getting healthy food where it needs to go is the goal at Second Harvest Food Bank. That's who we serve. Uh, you know, we serve the food insecure folks here in southwestern Wisconsin. Chris Taslar says the organization has many efforts focused in schools. We know the importance of, um, of food and healthy food to uh, a child's uh, development and education. Now a new effort at the state capitol aims to make sure students are getting access to healthy food in classrooms and are never denied meals. If you're hungry, you're just not in the mood to learn, you're just wondering where your next meal's coming from. Representative Gary Tauken is introducing a bipartisan bill to prohibit lunch shaming, a practice where students are given consequences if they owe meal money to their schools. There's different standards. Uh, every school district has to have some kind of policy, but it's inconsistent. We need to standardize it. These are some local policies that drew red flags from a hunger advocacy group. In McFarland, account balances at or below negative $10 are denied access to all meals until a payment plan is reached or the account is paid in full. In Stoughton, middle and high schoolers are allowed to purchase using their account only when there's money in it. But the students can buy items in cash. In Verona, students have to pay off meal debt before they can participate in the graduation ceremony. Every situation is different. There's some families that really don't have the money. School administrators argue they would never let a child go hungry, but some have urged lawmakers to leave the policy decisions up to them. And those trying to get food to families who need it. It is a problem that you may not see every day. Say you may not realize one in seven children around you struggle with food insecurity. Unless it's addressed, it can be a problem that lasts their entire life. There are some concerns from schools because the proposal would not provide extra state money for, to schools left to pick up the tabs for student lunch debt. Representative Tauken says there will be an opportunity for amendments and discussions about community members donating to help cover costs. He hopes to get a public hearing on this bill later this month. We'll also put more information about different school policies up on our website, channel3000.com. Rose, thank you. Developing